everyone and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I cover general JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's talk about variables. So variables, what are they? It's quite simple, really. They're labels that represent a piece of information. Now, the best real world example I can give of this is you and I are having a conversation and I say, uh, I've been reading a book lately. You might say, oh, which book? I say, oh, clean code. Right now, you know that when I'm saying the book, I'm talking about clean code. So later in the conversation, I could say, yeah, the book's really good, um, but I'm having trouble getting through this section. Right. I don't need to say the book clean code is really good, but I'm having trouble getting through this section because we've already referenced the book before and I've told you what the book is. You know that when I say the book, I'm referring to clean code. Variables work in the same way. We declare a variable, for example, this way we say let greeting equal hello. And then later on, when I decide to do something with that, for example, maybe I decide to log greeting, that will log the word hello. The two now mean the exact same thing. It's basically all a variable is. It's here in our code saying, uh, this is what I want greeting to be. And now I can use greeting anywhere I want to use hello. The two are exactly the same. Now, my mum's name is Virginia but I don't call her Virginia, do I? So I would say var, this is another way of declaring a variable, mum equals Virginia. There we go. I could also use a constant. So for my daughter, she's grandma and still Virginia. Maybe I actually have a nickname for her, which is marzipan, and that's still Virginia. So I could say um, console log greeting and marzipan and I will get hello Virginia I could log that and grandma and it would say the same thing I could log that and mum or I could just write it right all exactly the same the second and last example I want to give is the concept of the report uh, like our book example the report could mean many very different things the report could equal a 10 page summary of the news today, let's say. Um, then we want to say, oh no, you know what? That's not actually the report I was talking about. The report equals um, a legal case against, I don't know, the prime minister of Australia, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> and then you'll go, oh, well now I'm in a different context and the report uh, is actually an environmental impact statement. <laughs> There we go. So depending on context, the report can be different things. Similarly, in JavaScript, you might have something like result or count, and it can change over time. And that's what makes it variable.